guys, welcome back to my channel, Mitch Ford. Today we'll be talking about an engine and how it produces thrust and how to turn it on. And so let's get started right away. So if you look at the main part, you just think that an engine has blades, it sucks and then it the air just gets out through the bag. No, there's a, there's actually a different variety of things in there, the special things. You now knew that it gets mixed with fuels so that it can produce more thrust. And so I'm going to take the engine out. This is just a little plane. I'll put the plane down. So this is an this is an engine you just think so the air gets mixed here air gets, comes here fuel gets ejected into the engine and then the air gets mixed with fuel and it gets hotter and it bursts into fire so it, so if that happens the there's actually cold air which gets mixed so that it won't be that hot it comes through the blade, it comes through the motor, so it comes through the back and then it injects out. So that's the main how it works, but how to start an engine is very different than a car. So if you, have you ever went on an, um, on a electric car, like a car that doesn't need keys, you, you just turn on a switch, you just press a switch or you have like a button which says start. So, so or a, spinning thing that says start off yeah it's the same thing for an engine but how to that just gets like fuel it just me and then there's also another and there's another one and then you have to if it if there's two engines like one on each wing you have two two of two like but two like two sticks like that you pull up so and when it so two stick means two engines you pull it up both of them and the engine will start so that gets in the engine and then the engine will start so it might it might make a fog off like a little bit of smoke because one of like the for the first time after like a long after like um at least two days you're turning the engine on there will be smoke coming from the engines and it will just and then so the so base the the basically the the air yeah, once it gets sucked in it gets mixed with fuel so once it it helps the blades to rotate as well so the air gets back and it's like going this way it's not going straight it's kind of going this way that helps the bl blades for this one this here to turn and that helps produce more thrust so it will go through some compressors and more like and little blades from the engines and and it gets ejected out so that's how it produces thrust and how to break the engines so if, if you so if you're lucky you might and if you like play games online yeah you have these thrusters that's what increases the speed it tells the engine what to do if you need to go front or back using reverse um if you want to slow the engine down and you before landing most pilots do this they put the flaps down to it will go behind the engine that like this and then the air comes here and that makes the plane slow down so yeah if and reverse was how it works is from the pilots they and um, they put they push the if you have there's a yellow line at the back from idle to back that's reverse the these um, little doors open so that's called reverse thrust and the air gets ejected in and it gets uh, uh, it's right at the back here fuel gets mixed also and, and sometimes not fuel but it might use like um like just the cool air and then it gets pumped out like this so that will create and um so yeah and i'll make another video about um the wheels and the flaps and the air brakes so let's just hook up the main engines um do, so like old planes they didn't have covers for the engines and you, and then you just thought the air just gets gone through the outside no you see like these little gaps like these little frames if the air there's two the outside there there's the fan is bigger so it'll be about this big 
the the part where it gets mixed with fuel is like this big so the outer air goes out to to just like the same on on an airplane engines it gets cooled down once it gets outside and that's what produces thrust so yeah that's what and so and yeah so it's basically what it's in the old planes it gets mixed with fuel inside how they make reverse thrust is basically they slow the engine down they slow the engine down they don't and they, sometimes they use reverse thrust and they will stop the engine and they'll rotate it the other way so yeah and that's so far yes and little Cessnas, yeah, uh, they, do, they don't use that, they just use cold air, they just, they don't have fuel mixing, so, so they will just use it, like, cold air, and it, when it gets inside the engine, it, the, inside, the engine pushes higher than the outside pushes, because it's lower, and that's, um, that's, a, that's what also produces to us. And because the engine gets heated and then it needs to get cooled down the same for car engines it's more like air comes in and then it gets mixed with fuel and then co like co um cold air is mixed and that's what produces car thrust how it so that's what makes the wheels move exactly same for this it's kind of the similarity that's what's with this it, yes some electric planes are the same like a little set like some Cessnas are electric uh, and some of them are not so you need to have fuel and yeah cool. this is exact so this is a plane engine and plane engines are very different to to car engines because cars like they drive on ground and planes they drive on air so so, so so it's it's flying so how it flies the thrust goes but the the wings they're kind of curved like this the bottom is curved like this uh, and the air gets like down and then that's that's making the it makes it float that what makes the air float the plane to float and so and yeah that's it uh, that's the end of the video i hope you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you're new like this video and um, bye see you later tomorrow on the next video and i'll explain to you about the wheels and then and then maybe the flaps and the aerodynamic brakes bye see you tomorrow